Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills in Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. My name is Robert Corel. In today's short lesson I'm going to show you how to use some of the makeover tools. First let's open up an image where my son Sam has some pretty serious red eye. Now select your makeover tools. Ah, gotcha. Red eye is not part of makeover tools. You've got the blemish fixer, toothbrush, eye drop, suntan, and thinify. Red eye is above the makeover tools on the toolbar. But while I'm here, I'm going to show you a trick where you can use the blemish fixer to sometimes fix things that aren't always blemishes. Sam has a runny nose. To remove that distraction, I can use the blemish fixer and change its size and strength to suit the material here that I want to take out and just click in there and make that area that looks like a runny nose disappear completely. Not bad. Now for the toothbrush. Let's open up Sam again and zoom in very much to see his white teeth. You don't always have to use the toothbrush on yellow teeth. You can actually improve the brightness of already white teeth and make them stand out just a little bit more. That looks better. The same actually applies to the eye drop tool. Select that, zoom in till you see the whites of someone's eyes, click in there and that's going to brighten that up. Now don't go too far like I just did otherwise they'll look really weird. So I'm going to undo that and zoom back out so you can see. That gives the photo just a little more pop that it didn't have. Now for suntan. Here's a picture of Jacob. Select suntan, change the size of the brush and strength. You're basically painting on a suntan. Now it's easy to get carried away. If I raise the strength up to 100 and pick a brush that's too large, when I paint that suntan on, you can see how I'm going outside of his face and darkening everything around it. That's not good. Make sure that you choose a brush size that's appropriate and then lower the strength. My thinking is that I don't want people to know that I've retouched a photograph. So I like setting strength down pretty low as low as I can to achieve the effect that I want. Now you don't have to be perfect about it. I'm getting a little bit of the hair up here darker but nobody's going to notice as long as it's not too dark. It's easier to stray into a shirt let's say and be obvious there. That's an obvious one. Now if there's a shadow area like right here you can get away with straying outside of the face just a little bit because that shadow is going to contain the dark area where you're using the suntan brush. Don't forget things like arms and wrists. You don't have to just apply this to the face. Fingers. Here I'm going to reduce the size of my brush. Zoom in to his finger and arm down here. Brush over that to apply the suntan. Now to finish that just go over his entire face in the middle and he'll be done. Okay next up Thinify. I'm going to use myself for this and select Thinify. You have a strength from 1 to 100. At 100 you click the, the center point where you want to contract or expand here. Click, hold the mouse button down and drag to the right. That thins or shrinks material in the, where you've clicked and pulls material from the rest of the photograph. Where you click is important. I clicked on myself just then. Now if I click on this thin post over here, that's where I'm going to thinify. So it's selective in that where you click 
at least to the left or right in the picture, is where that center point of thinning is. And you can see it's pretty easy to overdo this too. So try selecting moderate to low strings and just barely doing it. That looks better. Then if I needed to, just crop that down. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.